Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. So we all know about hollow glitter nail polish, right? You can dab that shit on and your nails look fab. But have you ever tried just dunking your nails in loose craft hollow glitter and hoping to get a similar effect? You added a glossy taco, but there was still something about it that just didn't look good. <laughs> It's kind of rough and bumpy, but most importantly, it's not reflecting all the beautiful rainbows as much as it does in the jar of hollow glitter. Well, I've got the solution for you. I'm gonna show you how to do this instead of this. That's right, I'm actually gonna teach you something in this video. Wow, it's a miracle. It's called the glitter burnishing technique. No, not banishing like with water marble, which is burnishing. Essentially, you just buff the hollow glitter into the surface of a tacky nail. I'll get to that part later. And what happens is the glitters end up lying flatter on the nail as opposed to pointing in all different directions. Flat pieces of glitter make for a smoother nail surface and the hollow tends to look better because there's just a more visible shift in the rainbow spectrum. Now, I've seen nails like this on some of the professional nail salon accounts and I was always wondering how the f they got the glitter that smooth and then about a year ago I watched Angel from Twice Stars video about this and I was like holy shit glitter burnishing no kidding took me a while to make this video but here I am now to share with you how to get the most beautiful hollow glittery as f nails at home let's start off with some hollow glitter porn Ah, look at all the colors of hollow. So I've got three different brands of hollow glitter I'm gonna try for you today. And I've put links to everything I'm using in this video down below in the video description box. So be sure to check that out if you wanna see where I get my shit. I tried to only get hollow glitter, but sometimes it's hard to tell on websites what's real hollow and what's not. You guys know the struggle. But just in case you're new here, let me show you straight up. Gold holographic glitter versus plain gold no <laughs> holographic glitter. Gold hollow f***ing rainbows. Boring ass gold, no rainbows. Silver hollow glitter versus boring silver <laughs> glitter. Green hollow glitter versus iridescent green glitter. It's iridescent because it does have a shift, but it's not a hollow rainbow shift. Pink iridescent glitter with a green shift. Purple iridescent glitter with a green shift. And here's some blue iridescent glitters. And can you spot the blue hollow? Yes, yes, there it is. Look at the rainbows. Magical, fantastic. You can burnish any kind of small size glitter into your nails. It does have to be hollow but on this channel it has to be hollow okay let's begin the biggest question is how the hell do you burnish the glitters onto your nail and get them to stick I've painted a bunch of test nails in black polish so we can experiment together and figure out exactly how to burnish just so we have a control nail I'm just adding a regular glossy taco on the nail to make it wet and then I'm gonna take a dunk with a fan brush into this hollow glitter oh so satisfying And uh, where were we? <laughs> Dump it on the wet nail. And here we have, again, a chunky, not so linear, hollow, rainbow looking glitter nail. It's, it's okay, but it's not great. You know what I'm saying? You may just have seen the buffing technique used before, where people buff those fancy chrome or hollow nail powders into a gel top coat that was just cured. So let's try that out and see what happens. I applied a glossy gel taco, baked that shit for a minute, and let's see if we can buff. Yeah, it's not really sticking everywhere. And this was immediately after I took it out of the curing station. So it's not like I waited a while. It sticks to some parts, but not others. And then when you buff over top of it, the glitters just kind of fall off anyways. So it doesn't seem that secure to me. I tried the same thing again using a silicone head tool, which you may see more often used in professional nail videos, but same thing. It doesn't really want to stick to the cured gel. All right, I tried, let's move on. What about sticking the glitter right on to the wet polish? I tried this just to be able to show you that this isn't the best option because you're gonna end up picking up some of the wet polish and making a mess of the glitter. Let's try this burnish and bond base coat, which is supposed to be for buffing the nail powders into the nail. It applies similar to a glossy taco, but it feels much heavier and thicker. I waited about one to two minutes until it was tacky and then buffed the hollow glitter in gently. This is definitely working better than the rest so far, but as I continued 
to buff, I could feel that even with a gentle buffing motion, it was moving the polish underneath the round, kind of like poking at jello. To me, that makes it really tricky to work with because you could easily press too hard and f it all up. And we just want hollow on our nails. We don't want to f shit up. So let's try something else. What about a peel off base coat? I've heard that some people have been using these to apply nail powder, so I wanted to try it for glitter burnishing. Again, I waited about one to two minutes and then started gently buffing the glitter in. It definitely worked and appeared to cover all of the black canvas below, but when I compared it to the other swatches, it looked strangely light in color. Is it just me or did the peel off base coat kind of dull the hollow? And we can't have that. No, we must continue our search. So last up, I'm gonna try the yellow stopper base coat, which in my opinion does absolutely nothing to reduce or reverse yellow nails. It's literally just a bluish tinted base coat that may give the illusion of less yellow nails. But after about one to two minutes, it's actually quite tacky when it dries. So it looks like buffing in the hollow glitter works pretty well with it. I also found that it didn't move around like jello under the surface. So I think I like the yellow stopper base coat for glitter burnishing. And just for the sake of science, let's do another yellow stopper stopper nail and this time burnish in the hollow glitter with one of those fancy ass silicone tools. Does it work any better? Hmm. Um, it kind of looks the same to me, but I find it riskier to use these silicone tools because they have a harder surface and you could accidentally stab the wet nail with the tip of it. So my preference is still the eyeshadow applicator because it makes it easier to go gentle on the nail surface. And it's a good thing I have a fuck load of these. <laughs> And now for the fun part, all the colors of hollow. I promise we're gonna burnish my actual nails in this video, but first I wanna show you the range of all these magical hollow glitters because f look at them. You can also burnish different sizes of glitter in your nails too. I would consider these hollow glitters some of the tiniest in size. All the ones on this nail swatch are from Born Pretty Store, by the way, which is very hit and miss in my opinion, but I tried out a bunch of different teeny hollow glitters using the yellow stopper with an eyeshadow applicator burnishing technique, and I think these look pretty damn awesome. Hey, what do you know? This hot pink hollow even looks exactly like the new hot pink flash version of the hollow shirts we just recently released. If you didn't know, we now have the hollow shirts in three different colors of hollow. Yay! I put the link for the shop down below. Here's some more colors of the teeny burnished hollow glitters. And by the way, these were all finished with a gel top coat just to seal them in and make them really shiny. I'll show you that in a bit. Mm-hmm. Look at all the colors, hollow glitter porn. Here's a random hack for you. If you're ever playing with more than one glitter, you can easily reuse the same eyeshadow applicator by sticking it onto a lint roller to clean off the glitters. Wow. Now let's take a look at a slightly larger size of hollow glitter. These ones are all from Twinkle Tea. I put the link for them below. And I used the same kind of glitters in my hollow glitter tears makeup look. And in last week's video where I did the glitter burnishing technique on a King fidget spinner. Who knew fidget spinners could be so beautiful? Because these glitters are a bit bigger, you do see more of the base polish color underneath. So if you're using a larger glitter, I would recommend choosing a polish that's similar to the color of the glitter to wear underneath. Personally, I like not the teeniest, but a slightly bigger hollow glitter because they just sparkle more from a distance like this fucking fidget. I hate it, but I love it. Please someone help me. Mm, these hollow glitter swatches are so beautiful that I feel like I could upload an entire video just showing these swatches in slow motion in an hour long repeat video. <laughs> and look, I did some nail art and made a glitter stripe nail. That looks professional as shit. Please give this video a thumbs up, be proud of me. Last up, let's take a look at using slightly bigger glitters to burnish. Oh my god, that is a tongue twister. These ones are all from Solar Color Dust. They sell a couple different sizes, so I have a bit of an assortment here, but most of them are on the larger side, at least as far as eligibility for burnishing is concerned. Again, it's gonna be a bit trickier to cover all the spots on the nail with bigger glitters, but you could easily do two coats. I'll show you that in a bit. Okay, I don't know about you, but I can't take it anymore. I want this shit on my nails. I'm just starting off with a peel off base coat because there will actually be peel porn at the end of this video. Stay tuned, holosexual friends. Again, just to make it easier to show you guys how the glitters rub in, I am using a black polish at the base, but you definitely don't have to. Hollow glitters are opaque and will still be the same color no matter what color of polish you use underneath. Add a coat of yellow stopper base coat. Make sure you get the tips as well so you can stick glitter on your tips. And after waiting about one to two minutes, it will be tacky 
tacky to the touch. Oh, wait a second. We haven't talked about what's on my other hand. It's a beautiful combo of multi-chrome purpley pink polish with a stunning holographic flake taco over top. I was wearing these nails in last week's video, but they are so fucking beautiful that I wore them for at least a week. Oh my god, I want to live in this bottle. Okay, so where were we? Now that the base coat is tacky, we take our eyeshadow applicator, dip it in the hollow glitter, and gently burnish or buff it into the nail. I like to use a dab and then rubbing motion. So you kind of pack it on first and then gently rub it in to smooth it and straighten out all the glitters on the nail. I'm gonna do a vertical gradient with two different colors to have a little fun. Again, packing it on and then gently rubbing it in. Now you can keep going and bring the two colors closer together towards the center to make them blend into each other. And don't forget the tip. When you're happy with it, you can easily dust off all the glitter that fell onto your skin with a fan brush. And you should also do this on your actual nail to get rid of any glitters that didn't stick properly. So this looks pretty good, but two coats of hollow glitter will make it look even better. So I put on another coat of yellow staffer, waited one to two minutes, and repeated it all over again, dab and then rubbing in of the hollow glitters. Make sure you cover up all of the bare spots. Dust it off. And while we're at it, I'll show you what I did with the other nails. I tried out some different color combos, although these two teal turquoise hollows were so close in color that you could barely tell that I'd put two different colors of hollow on the same nail. <laughs> Oops. On the pointer nail, I used some bright pink and light pink hollow glitters, and I think this one turned out pretty cool. When you're all done, you can use your finger to pat the glitters down on your nail just to give it one last chance to settle in and lay flat on your nail. And now to seal it all in, we gotta add a nice thick coat of glossy taco. Ugh. I'm using gel taco here because I wanted it to be super shiny but you can use any kind of regular taco although I would recommend using two coats if you use regular glossy taco because the glitter does eat the top coat a bit look how it looks under the gel lamp that's some alien shit beautiful Stunning. Now do you see the vertical hollow rainbow gradient I was going for? It's for when you can't decide what color hollow glitter you want on your nails, so you use them all. FYI, I had used just the mid-sized glitters to do this nail art. I listed the exact shades of hollow used in this final look down below in the video description box. And that's it. If you don't think my nails look amazing, then you need to leave. Let me know down below in the comments if you see yourself actually trying this glitter burnishing technique at home. I would like to know if my Education is transferring to your brains. <laughs> and now for what I promised you. Some hollow glitter peel porn. Ooh, girl, it's so extra satisfying when you cured it with a gel taco. It all just sticks together in one big, big glittery piece. Oh my god, I will keep these forever in my peely bag. Mm, they're so squishy. And with that, I hope this video has satisfied your holosexual needs. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!